Have you wondered if it's normal not to experience orgasms regularly? What is the connection between exercise and sexual performance? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started! It's normal for the frequency of orgasms to vary among individuals due to factors such as emotional state and health. Open communication and personal understanding can be key to maintaining a healthy sexual life. If there are concerns, consulting with a sexual health professional may be helpful. Regular exercise can improve sexual performance by increasing endurance, blood circulation, and the release of endorphins. Staying fit and healthy is beneficial for overall sexual health. Japanese sex culture, Japan has a unique sexual culture that includes practices such as kawaii, cute, and wabi-sabi, the beauty of imperfection. It is also known for its adult entertainment industry. Kink culture, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism, is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Lucid dreams are those in which a person is aware they are dreaming and can take control of their dream. Some people report having sexual experiences in lucid dreams. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Mixed orgasm. Some women experience mixed orgasms, which are a combination of clitoral and vaginal orgasms. This can be highly pleasurable and satisfying. Multiple orgasms in women. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This can result from continuous stimulation and the ability to have several orgasms in a short period. Orgasm duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Orgasm through thought, rarely. Some people can experience an orgasm through thought without physical stimulation. This is called mental orgasm or contactless orgasm. Orgasmic dysfunction. The inability to reach orgasm, known as anorgasmia, can affect both men and women. This can be due to physical, emotional, or health-related factors and can be treated with the help of healthcare professionals. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Partner. Support. Communication and mutual support are essential in any sexual relationship, including anal sex. Willingness to adapt to the needs and desires of the partner is crucial. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Positive body language. Confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Prolonging pleasure. Some people practice edging or delaying orgasm as a way to prolong sexual pleasure. This technique involves delaying ejaculation or orgasm as much as possible before allowing release which can intensify sexual satisfaction. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Relation to G-spot stimulation. Some women report that anal stimulation can have indirect effects on G-spot stimulation and increase orgasm intensity. Relationship between pornography and addiction. Pornography addiction is a debated topic in the scientific community. Some people may develop a dependence on excessive pornography consumption, but not all consumers become addicts. Resilience. 
The ability to overcome adversities and maintain a positive attitude is valued by many people. Semen abstinence. Some male animals may abstain from ejaculating during mating to increase their chances of successfully mating with multiple partners. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases, such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and laughter. Laughing during sex can enhance the experience. Laughter releases endorphins, the same chemicals released during sex, which can increase pleasure and intimacy. Sex and science. The science of sex, known as sexology, is a multidisciplinary field that explores human sexuality from a scientific perspective. Sexologists study a wide range of topics, from sexual anatomy to sexual therapy. Sex in space. As space exploration advances, questions arise about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sex in water, whether in a pool, jacuzzi, or the sea, can be exciting. But it's important to remember that the body's natural lubricants can disappear in water, making sex uncomfortable. Additionally, water is not a good substitute for lubricant. Sexual education in Nordic countries, Nordic countries, such as Sweden and Denmark, have very open and comprehensive sexual education in schools. This translates to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Sexual therapy for hypoactive sexual desire disorder focuses on addressing the lack of interest in sex by identifying emotional and physical factors that may be contributing. Sexuality in ancient Egypt, in ancient Egypt, sexuality was considered a natural part of life and was reflected in Egyptian art and mythology. Sex was viewed as a divine act. Shared passions and interests. Sharing common interests and hobbies can strengthen a connection. Finding common ground and enjoying activities together can be attractive. Smell and attraction. The sense of smell can influence sexual attraction. A person's natural scent, their pheromones, may play a role in sexual chemistry and attraction. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. Tattoos. Some women find tattoos attractive, as they can be a form of personal expression and creativity. The heart during orgasm. Orgasm can significantly accelerate your heart rate. In some cases, the heart rate can reach 180 beats per minute during an orgasm. However, note that this does not replace regular physic. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.